initially i focused on getting my concept clear and then i went to solving pyqs hmm. and so after i got my ad- admit card and got to know when my exam is going to be then i started giving mock tests in the afternoon sessions from 2:30 to 5:30 to every time i gave a mock test i tried a different strategy hmm. first thing i did when i decided to prepare for gate was to delete every social media account i had hmm. i got out of instagram facebook snapchat any other thing that is distracting me hmm. Hello students welcome to Om Institute and welcome to the show Beyond the Rank yes uh, today i have jashwant with me all india rank 6 electronics and communication engineering and gate 2025 examination yes normally at the front end you look into the ranks obtained by the students but you really don't uh, exactly know what efforts uh, the student has done because every student has his own journey and his own way of looking into the examination so let us speak out in this show beyond the rank about the success journey of jashwant bhavni with me so congratulations Jashwant, the heartiest congratulations from the entire team of Home Institute. Thank you. Uh, let me also tell the students that uh, Jashwant was the uh, online student of Home Institute. And uh, uh, Jashwant, uh, before we start up any questions, I would like uh, you to give your introduction in your way to the audience. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Jashwant Bhawani. I did my schooling in Narsapet, Andhra Pradesh. Later, I did my plus one and plus two in Vignan Cooperative Junior College at Vadlamudi, Tenali. I pursued my B.Tech from NIT Jamshedpur, and now I've secured All India Rank Six in Electronics and Communication paper in Gate Twenty Twenty Five. All right. So, just want to start off. What was your major driving force that you have to write down the Gate examination and get the rank into it? I have always wanted to do my masters. and okay. i always had the plan in mind to do so but due to various reasons i was unable to do okay and uh, i uh, soon after my btech i got placed into a very good company okay but at at one point while i was working i realized that uh, i'm not really utilizing my potential okay then i left my job and started started everything from sca- scratch again okay so uh, as you mentioned you were working in a good company you got recruited uh, you know through your nit jamshedpur placement so was it a tough call to take i mean leaving a good job and uh, taking a drop specifically so was it a tough call for you to take it was because it was quite risky currently considering the job market we have mm. it was quite risky but i took it and everything turned out well eventually exactly if you really put up you know the smart uh, efforts during your preparation tenure okay you'll really come up with successful colors so uh, approximately how many months you prepared after quitting your job i started my preparation in july okay but uh, seriously i started my preparation in september okay okay so majorly 5 to 6 months more or less okay so is is this was this time sufficient to cover up your syllabus and learn everything yes sir it was sufficient i managed in that way okay because i had only limited amount of time okay. and limited resources right so uh, you know while preparing for gate you know there are or any competitive examination rather i would say there are several important aspects you know concepts practice test series revision we'll talk about several aspects but what according to you is the most important element to get a good rank especially you've got a single digit rank so anybody targeting single digit or let's say even under 100 rank what should be the first thing you know they should prioritize first thing should be understanding the concept hmm. crystal clearly right everything depend because problems are framed from the concept so without mm-hmm. understanding the concept there is no point in jumping into the problems exactly exactly because uh, you know many students directly jump into problems pyqs i mean they have little bit uh, knowledge about concepts but they focus more on problem they end up uh, getting in a decent rank but probably not the best rank as you got okay so uh, you know you have seen the gate 2025 paper some questions were conceptual some questions uh, you know although were simple but msqs with a single option correct how you tackled those questions? Yeah, this is where I feel like my strategy really helped me hmm. because uh, initially I focused on getting my concept clear, and then I went to solving PYQs. Hmm. And those PYQs, uh, especially the last four years, Gate twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four, I've ex- attempted them as a mock test so hmm. that I'll understand the entire paper. Right. Because when we solve PYQs just after completely studying a subject, this, the all the all the matter is fresh in mind, hmm. so it will come out easily and we will solve the PYQs quite Correct. easily. But if you go back to the same questions two months after studying the subject, you might not be so quick. Hmm. 
So, so, so I think this is also a new uh, strategy that you adapted because normally people will go for PYQs after the completion of subject and going about all years PYQs at yeah. that time. But you reserved especially four years PYQs. Yes. Yeah, and especially if you are taking four years PYQs as a mock. So, how also it can help on is like you know, if you take a four to five years of gate paper, you will get all mixed variety. Some papers yes. would be difficult. Some yeah. paper would be moderate because at random also you you if, if especially if you see gate twenty five paper lot of MSQ. Sometimes they can give a paper without any MSQs. Yeah. Sometimes it would be very tricky. Tricky sometimes would be very easy. Yeah. So uh, that is what you have to have that balance. Yes. Okay. So uh, you know, uh, apart from this PYQs as a mock test, any other separate mock tests uh, you gave up? I've given a couple of full line test series, okay. but only very limited amount because okay. they were only to correct myself, right. manage my time, or uh, correct any other mistakes I was doing while reading the questions or okay. uh, not fully considering the options. Hmm. Anything as such. So uh, roughly, how many mocks you would have given? Nine. Nine. I think a decent number. Yeah. When you started the mocks? In January, actually. Okay. In January, that too after uh, I got my admit card. Okay. So, so what is the time of the day when you yeah, were giving yeah. the mock test? Yeah. So that is also very important mm. because if my exams in the afternoon, I need to keep my mind active in the afternoon exactly. session. So after I got my ad admit card and got to know when my exam is gonna mm. be, then I started giving mock tests in the afternoon sessions from two thirty to five five thirty. See, see, that's what exactly I was telling many students before the exam also uh, that that's a very important that your biological clock should be you know act you know should be set as per the uh, standard timings of the examination because many people have the habit of sleeping in afternoon or etc. But your brain has to be most active, especially if your exam slot is afternoon. Mm -hmm. And just when uh, yes, eventually followed that. Uh, so uh, you know, roughly around uh, 10, 15 January, you mentioned you started mock. So mm, definitely, I believe your syllabus would have been completed by that yeah. time, more or less. So uh, can we talk about syllabus completion? I mean, you focused more on concepts, but by what time you were able to complete up the syllabus? So by the time I initially completed making all the notes and got an idea about what is what, it mm. was the end of October. Okay. And after that, I started. Uh, completely going into every subject and getting myself familiarized with all the topics. Okay. And then came the PYQs. Mm. After I finished all the subjects, then I started giving PYQs. Okay. Once I finished PYQs, I went to mock tests. Okay. Uh, great. So, uh, yeah, uh, that is how it is. I mean, focusing on completion of syllabus, going into depth of concepts, taking up PYQs, going for the mock tests, you know. Uh, how also mock tests help you in time management, especially? Because every time I gave a mock test, I tried a different strategy. Mm. First, uh, I, I tried starting with aptitude, then mm. going into technical and then also attempting one marks question. Gen gen the usual trend that uh, people usually follow. But then I understood that it, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. Mm. So I started solving papers starting from question one. Mm. Whatever question I see in my on my screen, I have to solve it. Mm. I have to be able to solve it. So that became my goal. And then the last three mock tests I attempted in that way mm -hmm. and it suited me pretty well. Okay. So uh, rather I would put it this way that, you know, uh, you made yourself conceptually strong and then to strategize your exam, yes. you took a lot of mock tests and yes. all. So in your entire journey, you know, be it concepts or test, how Ohm Institute helped you and what inputs you have taken specifically? So as I was the online student, I, I, I was able to complete few subjects from Ohm. Mm. Uh, the thing I found interesting is that the flow of the subject is quite good okay. easy for the student to understand All developing the concept from the basics correct that, that is quite easy it yeah. helps us in recalling better if we have a proper understanding of the correct. subject since the beginning it will help us recall better an entire yeah. syllabus could be revised in 10 minutes correct that really helps and that's what helped me. But unfortunately, I couldn't complete all the subjects because oh. of personal reasons. Okay, okay. Yeah, and actually, you know, that is where, you know, the, the con the, it has to be from basics. The flow has to be nice. I mean, just randomly, I'll also specify a point here to the audience. It's just before starting the show, me and Jashwant were having a casual discussion. He himself is from NIT Jamshedpur. I did my B.Tech from NIT Bhopal. So guys, whether you are doing it from a private college or, or even a NIT, you know, there's hardly we study much in B.Tech. That's the, tr that's the truth. Yes. So, you know, the students, should not take a perception that okay maybe an NIT student getting a rank even everybody can get the rank be it an IT student or a private college student because even when I started my gate preparation or Jashwan started my gate preparation he's again and again specifying that started from the basics yes. that is what will help you okay so you know you start from basic wherever you are okay but if you focus on concepts and step by step go towards the depth of the subject you can be a next year ranker yes right one more thing about gate is it's more about discipline than talent ah we need to be more consistent about what we are doing. Okay. More than talent. Okay. 
talent hard work always beats talent yeah, exactly so uh, since you mentioned about this point discipline you know and especially in the current uh, digital era yeah. okay there are lot of traps okay yeah. we, we, we it's like we are all you know what we get is imprisoned yeah. okay with several things we are not able to come out of the, out of it social media apps be it you know instagram or facebook or telegram or etc yeah. i mean they are useful in somewhat but majorly it is a distraction yeah. yes. so you know what were the distractions for jashwant and how he avoided those yeah. distractions before starting my gate preparation even i was uh, i should say i was addicted to social media hmm. so the first thing i did when i decided to prepare for gate was to delete every social media account i had hmm. i got out of instagram facebook snapchat any other thing that is distracting me hmm. i deleted all those apps put my phone aside hmm. completely focused on studying okay so uh, that is what i mean you know what the distraction is and you avoided it yes. you uninstalled or uh, you know that that actually you have to follow because uh, once you open any social media app you think okay you maybe you'll open it for 1 minutes but you really you know spend 1 hour or you know yeah, any unlimited amount of time yes. and you can imagine in that 1 hour how much of practice or you know or any one particular concept you have uh, you know made thorough for you yes okay so uh, apart from social media as you already tackled it any other distraction you had no because i had an environment at home that allowed okay. me to completely focus on my studies ah uh, exactly so so after quitting the job you were entirely at your exactly. hometown at my home uh, that, that's a peaceful yes. atmosphere yes. okay i uh, was against a wall sitting against a wall the entire day studying uh, without with zero distractions exactly yeah so so i think that that is one of the best things yes, uh, yes. that uh, you i'm lucky have to have such an environment around. correct that that is actually required so you know that that support that atmosphere you yes. got it yes. okay so uh, you know uh, when it comes to practice uh, you know what other practice students can follow of course pyqs are there so is only pyq suppose a student is conceptually strong yeah. so only pyq sufficient or any other practice shows no they pyqs must are more than enough okay uh, there i i've seen students following i mean asking for different kinds of practice questions on telegram mm. and mm. other mm. through other media but it's not actually necessary mm. if your concept is strong exactly. pyqs are more than enough exactly uh you know so uh, you know whether you focused pyqs like if i take a common subject be it networks or signals or control so you did pyqs of only ec branch or you did it for uh, no, only ec only ec you yeah. didn't take up the double yield or etc nothing else okay okay so that itself uh, was sufficient yes. for you yes okay so uh you know you got 78.67 marks yeah. in the examination how many uh, you attempted actually i attempted 56 questions okay and that amounted to how much marks attempt oh. Uh, 79 I think. Okay, you you attempted for 79 marks. No, no, I've attempted for 56 questions that amounted for 84 marks. Okay, yeah. 84 marks. Okay. And out of the 56, I got five questions wrong. Okay. And for one question, I got negative mark of point minus point zero minus point three three. Okay. The rest all were MSQs and natural answer ah, so types. So I didn't yeah, get so it. Yeah. So that that is safe. So yeah. more or less, you know, if you talk about negative part, uh, only minus uh, one by three. Yes. Okay. That's like really accurate. Okay. So uh, you know. Uh, students always have the doubt whether accuracy is important or speed is important of course both are important yes, yes. but w- w- what do you target more it is to strike a balance between the both okay. because i have only 3 hours to f- finish that 65 question mm. and i have to be accurate too exactly there is no point in solving 65 questions i mean i don't need to be quick and right. correct there is no uh, point in being right. correct i have to be correct and yeah. fast right no because uh, the reason i took up this question because i have in, in my entire uh, you know experience i have seen some students who are good at accuracy but just in, in the hunger of solving more and more questions yes. they end up solving 64 65 questions mm-hmm. attempting the paper of 95 100 marks mm-hmm. but eventually getting uh, you know 62 65 marks which is de- which is decent but not the best okay rather than that if you you know have a strategy like jashwant focusing more on accuracy maybe attempting 84 85 marks and ending up at 79 78.67 to be precise it's a very good thing to do yes. okay yes also while preparing itself while giving mock tests i was able to understand that there is really no need to hmm. answer all the 65 questions hmm. every year if you look at the top 10 rankers marks there is a margin of 20 to 30 marks there okay correct no no mo- no most students are not crossing 90 yeah it rarely happen in really it. really unless and the paper is very easy yeah uh, and also above 80 even if the paper was easy there were maybe 5 to 6 students every year ha huh, correct and even this year you see roughly there are 3 to 4 students above 80 so that's okay yeah. uh, if you are so you don't need to solve 65 questions hmm. completely correct so whatever you solve you have to be accurate exactly so uh jashwant uh, you know to summarize about your preparation you know if any future aspirant gate 26 or gate 27 watching your video what is the most crucial advice uh, for the students from your side yeah 
especially in the digital era we have so many sources mm. and uh, you don't need to run behind every single one of them mm. choose one stick with it correct and trust it mm. and you and study any other any resource can help you to only a certain limit limit after that it's just you exactly. you need to refine yourself keep mm. refining yourself till the exam exactly that's the only yeah, yeah th- th- that's the only thing i mean i i always say openly to my students in the class as well be it offline class or online class i mean it's it's you who can you know make yourself a ranker yes. okay you know you can get you can you can get guidance from several faculties you can get good books and etc but unless and until you are you put up your dedication you yes. put up lot of practice and uh, conceptual understanding you won't be a ranker yes. okay and everybody's understanding is different how they proceed with the preparation is different right. so you have to be flexible with yourself and truthful to yourself correct so if you are not performing well at a particular area mm. you can't just skip it okay. you have to be truthful to yourself and put more time into it and get better at it right so other than studies anything else jashwant enjoys i mean any hobbies beat sports music or any anything yeah. i i listen to music a lot okay. by music i mean just music okay. i don't listen to songs much okay it's just pure music, music. it helps okay. me relax a lot okay and uh, So were you listening to music during your preparation time yes, as well? Yes, I have a playlist that okay. helps me study better. Okay. Yeah, music helped me a lot. Okay, great. Yes. Right. So, you know, it's it's uh, March when the result has come up and uh, probably you're planning master so it will start after 15 July or probably August also, mm-hmm. you know, based on what college you end up. Mm-hmm. So, in these 3 to 4 months any plans you have? Yeah, I'm planning to do a few courses that okay. will give me an edge by the time my master's start. Right. So so uh, what sort of courses would be uh, since I'm willing to do masters in VLSI. Okay. I'm trying to make already I've studied analog and digital electronics and hmm. all the necessary basics hmm. but I want to get go a little deeper into those. Exactly. Yeah. So that I'll get an idea about what my MTech is going to be. Exactly. Yeah, that's what because you know especially for those students who have got good ranks in targeted MTech they all can follow this because ultimately you have to go into much depth into analog and digital both areas once you start your masters. Okay. Yes. So um IIC Bangalore or IIT Bombay? IIT Bombay. Okay. Uh, so uh, just when it was a very nice discussion with you we went into insights of several areas and majorly concepts is what uh, you know you targeted to get a best rank okay and your strategy helped you so i think it's a motivation for several students okay uh, you know because you know once a student joins the job okay you were still in a good job but you know what is the mentality of student these as even if they have some very decent job yeah. okay they are willing to work into yes. it maybe back side they have some other dream but they are just working on to it but yes. you have set an example ki yes if your dream is mtech or whatever getting you know into psc or mtech you can compromise with you know any of the good jobs also you have you put up your efforts okay 6 7 months based on however time you have but if you put up you know even decent efforts minimum 5 6 months also i think good enough to get a best rank yeah. and get yes. so uh, once again heartiest congratulation jashwant uh, from our side and we wish you success in all the future uh, endeavors of yours thank you so much thank you thank you guys thank you.